Now we will going to create uh, or utilize another built-in class from Java called the math class. Math class belongs to java.lang package. So we really don't need to import any packages as far as the math class is concerned. An extremely wonderful class which we're going to try to use in several steps. However, let me import java.util package ahead of time just to show you that one other way to work with java.util package or any of the other Java packages is that as soon as you type their name, it gives you the list of classes to use from. And then you can double click on whichever class you want to use. But right now it's highlighted in orange because I have not yet utilized the scanner class. Public static void main. Okay, so now I will going to be working with this math class. But before that, let's say if I want to calculate the area of a circle, which is pi times radius times radius, so pi r square or radius square. Okay, so as I can see, I will be needing two set of variables over here. I have an area variable and I have a radius variable, which I'm assigning to both zero. Then I create my scanner object so that I can accept an input from the user. And here I have my scanner object. And once I have my scanner object, I'm going to use a prompt to ask the user, please enter a radius. And then I'm going to write out radius equals to in dot next double so it accepts a value from the user now i'm going to calculate pi so i don't really need to declare a constant called pi rather i can just call math class which has a built-in constant called pi i can use that times radius times radius and that will give me my radius square and i can just simply go about saying system dot out dot print ln area of a circle with radius this is and here is my area of a of a circle so if i just go about running this program and it tells me okay please enter radius i have entered radius for 4 and it tells me when the radius is 4, the area of a circle comes out to 50.265, whatever. However, if you notice, not, right now I was working with power 2. If I was working with, let's say, power 10, then I wouldn't want to write radius 10 times. And Java programmers are smart enough to realize that. So they, what they did, instead of giving me the hat-like operators, which some of the other languages use, like vb.net, they gave us a built-in function called POW. What POW function does, it requires two parameters. The first parameter is the name of the variable. The second parameter is the power. That means however many number of times you would like that variable to multiply by itself. So this statement that I've just changed in front of you is extremely similar to writing times radius times radius. And so now I will going to rerun this program and I'm going to enter the value of 4 and you're going to realize it comes out to the exact same value. So it's just another way of writing it. I've, they have made my life a lot easier. Now notice that with pi as well as pow, we have used the math class. We didn't create an instance of the math class, so that means they're static. By the way, math class in Java is a final class. What exactly does that mean? That means you cannot create a child class to this class. This is the class that is a read-only class. You can use it. However, you cannot make changes to it. You cannot inherit from it. You cannot build your classes that are based on the structure of math class. So when a Java programmer decides to create a final class, all he does is in the final, in the description of the class, writes the word final. As I've written out here, so public final class using math. So let me erase this because I don't want to create a final class at this point in time. Sometime later in the class course, we will try to see if we can create any such class. So for now, this is what the area of a circle with radius looks like. 
Okay, now my radius comes out to be a very long value. I mean, like my area comes out to be a very long value. So Java programmers have given me three sets of functions called round, seal, and floor. Seal always seals up, rounds up. That means if it is 2.1 or 2.9, it'll always round to 3. Floor always rounds down. So if it is 2.1 or 2.9, it'll always going to round to 2. And round makes a decision based on round up or round down. So I'll try to use math.round. And I would like to round my area value. And I will going to enter the same 4, and but now it rounds it up to 50, as opposed to 50 point something. Now, one more thing that I want to show here, that as I type math dot round, do you see two, there are, there are two different versions of round. One takes double as a parameter and return long. One takes float as a parameter and return int. And this is what we call overloaded methods. So I thought I will also share with you this as we are on the subject matter. So now it gives me the list of variables to choose from. So I said, okay, I would like to choose ray, uh, area, sorry, area, and I'm going to round. So this is all about the IDE. These features may be available in one ID, but may not be available in the other ID. But my program will going to work exactly the same way. So now let me try a different value for radius, let's say 4.98. Still goes and rounds the value. Okay, so this short brief tutorial taught us how to work with a math class and how to work with some of the static entities from math class which includes a constant called pi and that includes a built-in functions like pow and round hope you have enjoyed watching this video catch you guys pretty soon thank you very much